working on a swatch that's made with super chunky chenille yarn. And I want to show you some tips on how to work with this yarn. I am using a Q16 millimeter crochet hook. And as I was crocheting along, I happened to notice that this is coming up to be dealt with. Now, this yarn is so plush that I could probably just crochet right over it and nobody would ever know. But I want to show you what you can do with this yarn. And this technique works for when you're finishing off the yarn as well. The yarn is made with a core of very fine threads and the they are twisted together and trapped between them is um, these straight fuzzy fibers so it's easy to pull these out and uh, you can get quite a collection of these Anyway, that is crucial information to know how to deal with this kind of situation. So what we could do, if I could get the knot out of that piece, it would really help. Because I could just retie it tighter so that, these, so that there's not such a big gap. But because I've tried and I can't get that knot out of there, here's what I'm going to do instead. I'm grabbing my scissors and I'm going to just snip that central yarn or thread and throw it away. And then what I'm going to do is I want to get back down to that same, um, those same inner strands. So I'm going to just start pulling off the fur until I get a, a length of those center strands that is long enough that I can tie it in a knot. Okay, I think that's long enough for that one. This is my lovely little pile of pile. <laughs> and I will do the same thing on the other side, slowly working from the end farther back. You can't just pull it off all at once, or otherwise you get a big knot. All right, let's see if that turns out to be long enough to work with. Okay, so what I'm going to do is tie these central strands in a knot and bring those ends of the caterpillar to the center. And by the way, I found out yesterday that the word chenille is French for caterpillar. Okay, and so then I am also going to tie it in another knot, these central strands. I think I'll do that about four or five times to just make absolutely certain that it is secure. There's three. There's four, almost. There we go. Now, you know what I think I'll do is leave those loose. And I'll show you something else that I can do, that we can do when we get to the point where that's, that knot comes through in our crochet fabric. Okay, so I'm now chaining two. Turn my work. I'm working double crochets and I'm starting with a double crochet in the very first stitch because that's the pattern that I'm working with and that's what it calls for. Okay, and now we can see we've got these little strands here and I'm just going to let them hang loose for a while until I get a few more stitches made and then I'll show you what we can do to make this even more secure. Now, if you plan on unraveling this at any point, what I'm about to show you is not a good idea. 
it would probably be best to wait until after you are completely finished with the entire project before you do this little trick I'm about to show you. Okay, that's far enough. So let's pretend I'm now finished with my entire project. I have um, woven in my ends and I want to deal with these little strands one more time to make sure they're just really, really secure. And what I can do is grab another crochet hook, a smaller one, and I just want to bring that one end around another stitch. And then, so that there's something besides the join of the two ends of that one strand that we tied together. And I can tie some more strands together, or I can tie the strands in some more knots as many times as I want. And then, when it is tied as much as I want, then I can snip the ends very close to the fabric, and nobody will ever know. And the, uh, the ends are completely invisible. And I'd also like to let you know that you can do the same thing when you are finished weaving in your ends. Let's say I have already woven in this end, and, um, well, let's just, uh, let's do a little bit of that. I'm just going to use a crochet hook and bring it through a few stitches along the edge of this work. Oops, I think I just took it back from the other direction. I undid what I just tried to do. It's very difficult. It's really challenging to see where your work is in these stitches. Okay, so we've woven it one direction. Let's weave it back in the other direction a little bit. Okay, so now um, to make sure that the end is even more secure, we can do the same thing. <clears throat> we can start at the end and pull off strands or pull off the fuzz till we get enough to work with. Get it right back to very close to the place where it's coming out of the main part of the fabric. All right, I'll throw away this fuzz. And the same kind of situation. We can draw half of these strands, these skinny strands, through the fabric. And tie another knot. As many knots as you want <clears throat> until you feel that it's completely secure. And like I said, if you think you might unravel this at any point, this is not a good thing to do. <laughs> Unless you have some nice sharp scissors and you can undo those knots with a snip. Okay, so I've put quite a few little knots in there and I can just snip the ends. And I have now got a very secure yarn end, and it will not come out of there unless I want it to, and I work really hard at it. Thank you for watching. <laughs>